Alright, so what we're going to be doing is kind of a shot recovery or a shot recovery series. So when our shot doesn't work, now how I see it is there's only two shot or two paths a shot can make. It goes really well or it doesn't. Now when it doesn't go really well, there's three stages to that. We're going to focus on them in a regressive stage of what we want. So the first one is uh, kind of a, a good position. So we're here, he sprawls a little bit. We have some resistance, but we're not really down on the ground yet. So what I do is I put my shoulder on top of his thigh. The pointy part of your shoulder, you try to put it on the medius part of his thigh. What that's gonna do is give you the most leverage to put all your weight at a 45 degree angle on his thigh. <laughs> so, that's that. Now, if you notice, my grip, isn't the gable grip everyone loves is actually quite opposite it's palms down on both sides which is kind of a risky grip the reason being is he'll pull up on this grip boom and i lose everything but to mitigate that i tricep extend if i tricep extend and he pulls up it mitigates that now if he continues to pull up and instead of fighting keep pulling up instead of fighting him the whole time i'm going to rotate this hand and come over top to pull now once I come over top of the pool, I can still put my shoulder on top even better this time because now I have the angle to do it. And I can put more weight on top of the side to come down as I drive. So you can do that at any point. Now, as we regress down to, we go to the mat, but our shoulder, sorry, our elbows are not past our head. So what I mean by that is the worst position you can get is anytime your elbows pass your head, you have enough strength here, you cannot pull it off. So how we help to avoid that is we put our head on one of the arms. You can't get past it. I put it behind the arm that's on the leg. So that also helps me cut the corner. Now when I cut the corner, I try to put a hip down. It doesn't always have to touch, but I always throw a hip towards that way and I back pedal. Now when I back pedal, I'm using this hand to post down on the mat. Now, it doesn't always touch the ground, but it's still always gonna go towards the ground. Now, with that, I'm gonna keep everything straight, and I'm gonna run all my weight again on the shoulder onto his thigh. Now, I'm trying my best not to crush his thigh, but he's gonna tell you there's a lot of pressure right here. I'm pushing all of it into it, and I'm gonna keep driving around. So, the goal is to snake this hand around and push it down on the ground behind him so you can put all your weight on him. Now, at no point do I bend my arms to pull. You will never have any strength pulling like this. Now, if you think of your machines, there's no machine in a gym that lets you pull like this. This is not a strong grip. So what we do is we use our legs, or our legs and our hips and our backs, everything in our, our core. We keep our arms straight, we arch our back straight, and we try to keep our grip between our knees. That's the goal. So if we come up, it's gonna be whoop, bang. Now, that doesn't always happen. As we're trying to fight this back up, and as we're trying to get this in, maybe these sprawls is back down. We can always sprawl. This is probably the worst position you can get in. This is no hope. And this is where we're trying to start a big A loss. So what we're gonna do is, if at this point you haven't broken your grip already, do so now. Use the hand that is not on the leg to reach across the body and grab the wizard hand. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Grab it. Now try to keep this leg blocked any way you can. Grab the, around the thigh, that's fine. If you just block the knee, whatever you need, just to keep him from stepping in that direction. Now my head goes on this side of his body, this side of his midline. My hips jump to that side of his midline, and I arch and pull his wrist. And he rotates over. Cover. Now in the event that that doesn't work, so I do this, he sprawls, I got this. I try it, I'm like, oh, snap, he got this. Well, I still keep this wrist, but when I recover, I recover on the opposite side, regrip, rotate out to the 201, rush the five series. So what I'm doing by that, there's a lot of motion going on with my knees. So, first thing I do is I rotate to this side. Now he's gonna be circling this way. So what I do is when he comes all the way around, you know, he's gonna be circling on my back. So I grab this arm. Now he immediately knows he has to fail. So he's gonna do two things. He's gonna continue going that way or he's gonna go this way. If he chooses to go this way, I'm gonna continue coming out or I can continue the middle series. Either way, I'm no longer in danger. He submitted and I can come out. If he goes the other way, 
I'm going to continue rotating with him to the two on one. Matt, hopefully you're recording this time. 